Hello and welcome again. So now we will be moving forward towards some important topic of chlamydia. We have previously de discussed about the Gardenella vaginalis. We are in the step 1, 2021 revision section of microbiology. I am Dr. Ranjit Sa, infectious disease expert as well as a clinical researcher from Harvard Medical School. Now we will be proceed to the chlamydia. Chlamydia is one of the important bug that is the obligate intracellular parasite, obligate intracellular bacteria. They cannot survive there on their own. They depend on the host cell, on us, for getting, for survival, for causing infection. They totally depend on the host cell, ATP, NRG, to survive. They are actually present intracellularly, so they are difficult to culture outside, obviously. So what were the options for treatment and what are the options for diagnosis will be? Since they are intracellular, they cannot be cultured in normal media. We go for the in tissue culture, okay. Or we can go for the molecular technique like PCR, NAT, or say DNA probes, or even we can indirectly demonstrate the inclusion body inside the cell by GIMSA or fluorescence antibody, uh, antibody microscopic. So these are the way we can diagnose it. But before diagnosis, we should understand this is the gram, this are the gram variable or say they are actually fall on the gram negatives, but since they are obligate intracellular parasite, we are not able to stain. So they doesn't come for the gram stain, gram positive or gram negative. We take it as an obligate intracellular parasite. They have the two form, that is the elementary form and reticulate form. Elementary form is the outside, found in the outside. They are infectious form, they infect the cell. In the cell, they go and they infect, they multiply, convert into reticulate body, reticulate blood multiply and then they form the inclusion body, then they again convert into the elementary body and brushed and in this way, cell cycle and cell infection goes on and on and on. Talking about the disease, they can produce the widespread ranges of disease. They have the different species like Chlamydia trachomatis, Chlamydia Chlamydophilia cetaci and Chlamydophilia pneumoniae. This Chlamydophilia pneumoniae and cetaci is caused atypical pneumonia, where that as the Chlamydia trachomatis cause again wide range of disease because of the different serotypes. If you remember, if you see, they have the three main group of serotypes. They the serotype starts from A to L. So A, B and C belongs to one group. Then there are D to K from C, then D, D to K and then there is L. So A, B, C, they cause one group of disease that causes blindness, that causes follicular conjunctivitis, trachoma. A, B and C cause trachoma, that is follicular conjunctivitis and blindness of the person. Then there is the D2K that causes conjunctivitis but that does not lead to blindness. They cause urethritis, they cause pelvic inflammatory disease and pneumonia in neonates. And there is L1, L2 and L3 group that is called lymphogranuloma venerum. They cause the sexually transmitted disease. This is responsible for your genital ulcer as well as the inguinal lymph node enlargement leading to painful that leads to the that breast ulcerate called buboes. So they cause a different range of disease. There you have to understood ABC causing trachoma, D2K causing uh, conjunctivitis, urethritis, and pneumonia in the uh, say neonates and children. The, then there is the L1, L2, and L3. They are causing lymphogranuloma venerum. Since they are the intracellular bug, they we cannot give beta like they they are difficult to treat actually. Although they can easily get treated with this azithromycin and doxycycline, the drug of choice. But since they have some uh, changes in their lack, this peptidoglycan in their cell wall, beta lactam antibiotic doesn't work. So we know the organism, obligate intracellular organism. They have caused the different range of disease. Okay, we can diagnose. Diagnosis is they cannot be cultured in normal media. So we go for molecular or indirect evidence. The inclusion body by the this uh, gymsa stain iodine stain or say fluorescence antibody stain or we can go if in a high class like tissue culture these are the different way of diagnosis treatment is simple we go with the azithromycin or doxycycline group of antibiotic okay let's go through the text so we are talking about this chlamydia chlamydia cannot make their own atp they are obligate intracellular organism that cause most infection we have discussed about this. These are two forms, elementary body and reticular body. Elementary bodies are the small, dense, that are infectious and enter via the inter cell into the cell by endocytosis, transform into the reticulate body. I'll show you in the images how this enters and then uh, this cycle goes on. You have to just remember now, now that infectious form that are outside, that enter into the cell is elementary body. So E, infectious, extracellular, and that enter into the cell. 
after entering the cell they convert into the reticulate body reticulate body replicates and after replication they again reorganize into elementary body and the cell bursts out in this way cycle goes on and on the these species are chlamydia trichomyotis causing neonatal and follicular adult conjunctivitis non gonococcal urethritis pelvic inflammatory diseases and reactive arthritis whereas chlamydia pneumophilia and chlamydia cetacea cause atypical pneumonia that transmit trans, that, are trans, that transmitted by the aerosol coming to their cell chlamydial cell wall lacks classical peptidoglycan due to reduced muram, muramic acid rendering to the beta lactam antibiotics ineffective so there is no role of beta lactam antibiotic like penicillin cephalosporin carbapenem meropenem imipenem these drugs have no role in chlamydial infection that we have to understand chlamydias means cloak that is intracellular cetacea chlamydia cetacea can be remembered because they are an avian reservoir that is the parrot and cause a typical pneumonia lab diagnosis of this chlamydia includes PCR, nucleic acid amplification test that is NAD, cytoplasmic, so the molecular are the preferred. If you have, if you don't have, the cheaper test will be cytoplasmic inclusion body can be demonstrated that is reticular body by doing gymsize stain or by doing iodine stain or even go for the fluorescence antibody stain smear. Treatment simple, we go for the azithromycin favored because one time treatment or, go, or with the doxycycline and there is a provision, there is a theory, there is a conception that if the patient has chlamydial infection, there is a chance of gonococcal infection in the urethritis patient. In that case, you give azithromycin or doxycycline plus 8 ceftriaxone for possible concomitant gonorrhea infection. So if you, there is a chance, when there is a gonorrhea, there is always chlamydia, chlamydia can be alone, okay. But they are present usually together in case of urethritis. If you are suspecting a patient have urethritis, that may be a due to gonorrhea or chlamydia, we usually treat both. So the ceftriaxone is for gonorrhea, not for chlamydia. It is just to treat the concomitant disease because ceftriaxone is a beta lactam antibiotic and they doesn't work, they doesn't have any role on chlamydial infection. Now coming to the disease of chlamydia trachomitis, we have, I have explained, they have a three group of organ, three group of serotypes that is A, B and C, then D, 2, K and L1, L2 and L3. From A, B and C, they are called causing chronic infection, cause blindness due to follicular conjunctivitis in resource limiting area. So they cause trachoma, the disease is called trachoma and what is this? This is a chronic inflammation of your chronic infection causing follicular conjunctivitis, that is important. You will remember A, B, C, Africa, blindness and chronic infection. Then comes to the type D2K. D2K causes urethritis or pelvic inflammatory disease. They cause ectopic pregnancy. They can lead to neonatal pneumonia, stachocoff with eosinophilia. They can cause conjunctivitis in both adult and neonate as well. Mainly, if they have neonatal conjunctivitis, is usually seen one to two weeks after birth. If the mother birth canal is infected with this sort of chlamydial infection. D2K, everything else, neonatal disease can be acquired during vaginal birth if pregnant patient is infected. So we have group of 1 and A, B and C causing trachoma. This is causing conjunctivitis but they are not lead to blindness. They cause urethritis, pelvic inflammatory disease, atrophic pregnancy. Now coming to the another group of serotypes that is the L1, L2 and L3. This is called lymphogranuloma venerum, serovar L1, L2 and L3. This is a small painless ulcer in the genitalia. There are sonal painful inguinal lymph nodes that ulcerate called bubos treat with toxicycline. So we have a sexually transmitted disease, we have disease of eye, user videothera, you have causing the preventable chronic blindness that you have to understood. Let's go through the some of the images to understand this. So we are talking about this chlamydia, chlamydia she has chlamydia trachomitis species, chlamydia cetacea and chlamydia pneumonia. We have talked about this. This is chlamydia trachomitis is a common sexually transmitted disease caused bacteria. You might, you might not know you have chlamydial because many people don't have signs or symptoms such as genital pain and discharge from the vaginal penis. So chlamydial is a sexually transmitted disease. You can see the life cycle over here. This is the elementary body. An elementary body when entered inside your cell, this is infectious form, this is extracellular, the inter inter cell, endocytosis. After inter cell, go convert into the reticular body. Once reticular convert, they, then they start multiply and then they slowly press down the nucleus. So nucleus is big, this become small, then pressing down. This is increasing in the cell and nucleus is shrinking. This is increasing and nucleus is shrinking. So reticular body, this is inclusion body. They are converted into this uh, uh, elementary body over reorganized into elementary body and then brushed and again the life cycle continues. When we do the stain, the simple easy stain, gymsa stain, iodine stain, we detect this inclusion of reticulate body and by which you can see the nucleus is pushed 
but your reticular body inclusion body sounds like a like a hat over there on the nucleus and that can be a diagnostic chlamydial infection has caused chlamydial discharge chlamydial eye infection chlamydial throat infection you can say so chlamydia has a three pneumonia chlamydia pneumonia chlamydophilia pneumonia chlamydophilia cetacea and chlamydophilia, chlamydia trachomitis they both cause atypical pneumonia this is atypical pneumonia this is called cetacosis they are mainly for the parrot uh, so their bots trachomatis a b and c d to k and l1 l2 and l3 this cause trachoma this cause range of erythritis pelvic inflammatory disease neonatal pneumonia conjunctivitis and cerebral l1 l2 and how causing lymphogranuloma venerum same here lymphoclamidia trachomatis causing trachoma by a b b a and c trach serotypes then d to k will cause genital urinary infection conjunctivitis pneumonia and l1 l2 l3 causing lymphogranuloma venerum so trachoma talking about the trachoma trachoma is the world leading cause of preventable blindness of infectious origin caused by bacteria chlamydia trachomitis trachoma is easily spread through a direct personal contact shared towel cloth and flies that had come in contact with the eyes or nose of the infected person so this is easily get transmitted even after you're using the sharing the towels and close contact so this is the you need to prevent this this is a easily preventable disease but they can lead to your blindness so that you have to understand this is a serious disease trachoma normal conjunctiva and then there is inflammation then the follicular inflammation and there will be scarring leading to the blindness leading to developing trachoma and leading to blindness you can see this is normal there will be the inflammation and there will be the scarring the scarring is there and leads to the trachoma this will this you can see this follicular conjunctivitis this is the trachoma caused by a b and c this is the Trachlamidia trachomitis serotype A, B, and C that was causing this trachoma. Let's come to the uh, D2K that is causing D2K was normally causing inclusion conjunctivitis. They will cause inflammation of conjunctiva, but they will not lead to the blindness. This is inclusion conjunctivitis from chlamydia infection. There will be urethritis. So there will be urethritis. They may lead to the pelvic inflammatory, pelvic inflammatory disease. So in female, pelvic inflammatory disease cause inflammation of the fallopian tube that will cause scarring and may prevent the transfer of this ova this is ovary this is the fallopian tube the ova get transferred and into the uterus and then fertilization occur and then pregnancy occurs if there is a scarring then there will, this ova will not transfer and female patient you can see this is the normal transport but if there is this scarring they start they will develop sterility so chlamydial infection is one of the cause for causing sterility in female you can see this nip and uh, children and the chlamydia d2k causing pneumonia now let's move, move to the other another we have talked about a2 abc causing trachoma d2k defgs ijk causing this urethritis pelvic inflammatory disease conjunctivitis pneumonia now coming to the l1 l2 and l3 causing lymphogranuloma venerum so lymphogranuloma venerum is a disease caused by three unique strain of chlamydia trachomatis and characterized by the small often asymptomatic skin lesion followed by regional lymph lymphadenopathy in the groin or pelvics alternatively if acquired by anal sex may manifest as a severe proctitis so you can see this is the inguinal region where you can see that this small painless painful there also and there will be the enlargement of your lymph node there is the they ulcerate and form this they, they will discharge this are called bubo this is the iodine strain so it is showing the inclusion body or conjunctival this is reticulate body talking about the lymphogranal venerum they have different stages stage one there will be the short ulcer then there will be lymph and lymphatic dis dissemination in the stage two and in stage, stage three there will be the irreversible fib fibrosis so these are the stages of lymphogranuloma venerum you can see the different uh, ulcer diseases like you ha can have syphilis where there is a soft sanker they can be a painful sanker as well there is a lymphogranuloma venerum where is there is the ulcer as well as lymph node is enlarged and there is the granul granuloma inguinally this is due to different donovan bodies this is different so different diagnosis is syphilis sanker lymphogranuloma venerum and granuloma inguinally these are the different diagnosis of your genital ulcer so these are the uh, way how we can diagnose they can diagnose the in cell culture we can do the pcr we can do microscopic and where we can see the red inclusion bodies like uh gym size stain or say you can do um, what you can do your iodine or you can do fluorescence antibody testing this is again lymphogranuloma venerum seeing the painful ulcer in your genitalia 
Now talking about the another important point is when you develop the chlamydial infection, there is a chance of a syndrome called Ritter syndrome, which is the triad of three. They as you actually have the patient have asymmetrical arthritis, urethritis or cervicitis and conjunctivitis. So the inflammation eye, joint and, and uh, cervix or say urethra. So this three feature, this three organ involvement and three symptoms like arthritis, cervicitis or urethritis and conjunctivitis, this triad is called Ritter syndrome. So this is Ritter syndrome is a form of arthritis that produces pain, swelling, redness and heat in the joint. Okay. As a whole, as a nutshell, we have came to understand chlamydia, which is an intracellular organism that was that can survive only on our ATP, on our energy, and they have the two form, reticulate and into, uh, elementary body and reticulate body. Elementary body was infectious form, extracellular, that inter intracell and then causing all the feature we have now. Then this is causing a range of diseases like chlamydia cetacei causing cetacosis that is reserved body is the avian bots then comes to the chlamydia pneumophilia, chlamydophilia pneumonia causing pneumonia and chlamydia trachomatis has three serotypes group A, B and C causing different diseases that is trachoma, D2K causing erythritis, conjunctivitis, pneumonia in children and L1 and L2, L3 causing lymphogranular venerum. Diagnosis was easy. You do the, you can do PCR or NAT nucleic acid amplification test or you can do this stain like Zimsa, fluorescence antibodies or you can do the, you can even do iodine test and treatment is simple. You give azithromycin or doxycycline and that patient get cured. Let me revise you uh, rapidly this uh, Kaplan book as well. This is Chlamydia C that is obligate intracellular body. They have two reticular body and into elementary body. Not seen on gram stain, cannot make ATP. They lack miramic acid so doesn't uh, so beta lacrim antibiotic like penicillin cephalosporin doesn't act on it. Medical importance Chlamydia trachomatis, Chlamydia pneumonia and Chlamydia cita C. Distinguished feature of Chlamydia trachomatis are they are obligate intracellular bacteria, cannot make ATP. The infective form is elementary body, they do not see on the gram stain, okay, and the important feature will be in your vineyard like sexually active patient or neonate, adult urethritis, cervicitis, PID or inclusion, conjunctivitis, neonate, you can see inclusion, conjunctivitis or pneumonia, any immigrant from the Asia or Africa, genital inferinopathy, and cytoplasmic inclusion body in the scrapping. Resorber, human genital tract, transmission, sexual contact and at birth, trachoma is transmitted by hand to eye contact, contact and flies as well. Pathogenesis, infection of non ciliated columnar or cupid epithelial cell of the mucosal surface leading to the granulomatous response. Disease, we again come to the serotype depending on the serotype, A, B and C causing a, B and C that is causing follicular conjunctivitis or say trachoma that is leads to the blindness. Then the D2K causing non-gonococcal urethritis, cervicitis, pelvic inflammatory disease, including conjunctivitis, and L1 and L2 and L3 causing lymphogranuloma venerum. They are prevalent in Asia, Africa, South America. That is caused ulcer at the contact, swollen lymph node, bubos around inguinal ligament, tertiary include ursal, fistula, and genital elephantiasis. Diagnosis was simple. You do NAT nucleation and fluorescence test, DNA probes, or PCR. Even cytoplasmic inclusion can be seen on GEMSA, iodine or fluorescence antibody stain, smear or scrapping cannot be cultured on a normal media. So we can culture in tissue.